My name is Joel Nkuna. I'm from Kunzi Genetics and we're based in Midrand where our offices are and uh, I was invited by ARC at Freiburg to present in artificial insemination and also do the um, what do you call a demonstration on artificial insemination. Thank you. Before we can perform this technique, artificial insemination, first a cow has to be on heat. How will we know that the cow is on heat? There are some secondary signs that you can see. You see there's patches of mountains and that on the tail head, you see the hair will be up. Or if you can't see, then there are some other methods that you can use. You can use a tail paint, you can use the heat pad. We call this a kema. Well, this is expensive. I'd rather use the uh, tail paint or the heat patches. At least are, those are less expensive. So when you use this one, you just stick it here. If you can detect heat by your own eyes, you just stick it here. When the cows mount each other, they break this tablet in here and then it becomes red. So those that are red, you'll know that they are on heat. So if you are sure that, okay, my cow is on heat, you make sure what is the number, because record keeping is very important. You don't want in breedings later on. Yeah? You make sure that uh, take the number and also go to your catalog and see which bull that you want to use, because some of us use different bulls, even if it's the same breed. Uh, different uh, uh, different bulls. So I'm sure now that my cow is right on heat. I restrain it, more especially the big animals. Eh? We know that they are very dangerous. If you just go behind it and try to <laughs> to be nice behind it, and then it will kick you. Very strong. Okay. What we need on the equipment side. Eh? This is my throwing bath. You need this uh, thermometer. thermometer, pistolet, this is an air gun, you need some sheets, scissors, lubricant, sanitary sheets, we call these condoms, cotton wool or tissue paper, and gloves. Yeah, I think that's it. And on the other side, this is my bowl, yeah? <laughs> the flask, we call it liquid nitrogen flask. So inside here, it's liquid nitrogen with the, uh, the cement straws, the straws in here. Liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius, so it can preserve your, uh, the semen indefinitely. You can still use, as long as you top it up with liquid nitrogen, you can use it maybe after 20, 40, even 50 years. It depends how long do you store it. And there's canisters, these holders here, we call them canisters, and they are marked one up to six. So in number one, you'll know which bull is in here if your records are right. Yeah? So now I'm using number four, making sure that uh, all the straws are marked. Yeah? Each and every bull here yeah, is marked. Like they have codes. Draman, for example, is BR, Bolsmara is BO. Holstein, Friesland, this FR, like that. So make sure that you take it as quickly as possible and then you insert it inside into the throwing bath. And then it must stay here for about 20 seconds, not less than 20 seconds. It can be more than 20 seconds, it's fine. But not less than 20 seconds, the temperature of the water, I think. Uh, sorry, I didn't mention the temperature of the water. The temperature of the water is body temperature. No? 35 up to 37, 35, 36, 37. This is the right temperature to throw the cement in. <coughs> and you leave it for about but, uh, not less than 20 seconds. Now I'm onto my AI gun. You make sure that the AI gun is also warm. Ne? Because if it's not, it's cold and this one, the, uh, the straw is warm, there'll be a temperature shock. But now what I'm mostly doing most of the time, I'm just putting, uh, putting it into my throwing bag yeah, for about maybe 20 to 40 seconds. And make sure that you take the water out. Clean it, I think now it's more than 20 seconds. 
checking that is the, the right straw, white bit, and you don't have to touch in the middle, no? Because mm -hmm. there will be also a temperature shock. Make sure that it's also on the sides that where you, where, where you touch it. Put the pistol there, and then it hooks inside here, no? You have to cut it so that this can come out. Now you put in the, sh uh, the sheet, you see this green part, no? the green tip here. That's where the cement comes out and this thing it also blocks the straw that it mustn't go inside the cow. No? I am locking it and now the condom. You'll ask yourself why am I putting the condom in? No? <laughs> this is to prevent all the foreign objects that they mustn't go through the cervix because as you know that I have to go through the cervix and the cervix part eh? the purpose of the cervix is to prevent the foreign objects so that they mustn't go inside where there's uh, fertilization is going to take place and all the time make sure that the shade where you work right? because the sunlight you do we don't need the sunlight eh? the sunlight and the sperm cells are there. They were, I mean, the sun, the sun, the sunlight is very dangerous to the sperm cells. And now, my glove on, my glove on. The lubricant on. Send me the chain up that don't use the same so that we <coughs> So you'll need an assistant, ne? so that there must be someone who can help you with the chain. But if you are an experienced, you don't need this kind of uh, help, assistance or help. So you just put the chain on your side and then you just go straight into the chain. So what am I going to do now? Uh, I'm going to put my hand in, but I make sure that it's cone shape eh? inside the rectum and start cleaning now, taking the dung out. Not a nice job, no? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make sure that the vulva is clean, eh? yeah. because we don't need that inside here. And now, when you, when you insert this, uh, when you insert this, guys, can you please listen to one guy, please? When you uh, insert your pistol, eh? make sure that it goes 45 degrees. Eh? Why I'm, why I'm saying 45 degrees is to avoid the bladder. So that because if you just go straight in, you'll end up inside the bladder and now you'll waste the semen. So you can't get the cow pregnant. That's why I'm saying you have to restrain it. Eh? And now I'm at the cervix now. Inside here with my hand, I'm holding the cervix with my left hand. Now I'm just there before before uh, before the cervix. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to pull the sanitary sheet or the condom, and I maneuver my pistol left, and now I'm through the cervix, right at the end, uh, at the uh, other side of the cervix. It's yeah, it's through now. I'm going to deposit the semen. Where am I depositing the semen? At the uterus body. Not inside the uterus horns or where. It's only uh, into the uterus body. That's where you deposit your semen. And you just deposit it slowly, slowly, so that it goes in there. Oh, really? And checking it out. As you can see, it's clean. Massage it so that it can pull those stems. They must go at the right places. And you ring the bell. <laughs> and <the picture>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. And as you can see, my hands are clean, I'm not dirty anymore.